Hello. Good afternoon. Well, actually, good evening now. <laughs> good afternoon. Oh, my God. Mm. I'm so sorry. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not <laughs> the afternoon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's almost time to go to bed right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, for kids, it is, right? For kids, it is time. How are you guys? I'm sorry. I'm kind of lost in time. Oh, okay. It's okay, Saul. All right, people. I hope everybody is okay. Tonight we have an um, extense things to do as a manner of practice. Uh, because today we have a vocabulary practice. Okay. We have a vocabulary practice. You know what's going on with this? Oh, great. Hello? Please tell me hi. Uh, here we are now. <clears throat> Today we have our vocabulary practice from unit three. God, time really flies. Mm -hmm. How do you feel tonight, everyone? How do you feel tonight? ¿Cómo se siente en el día de hoy? A ver, how do you feel tonight? How are you? Good evening, teacher, everybody. Yeah. Hi. Well. I find. <laughs> Great, Aida. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I hope everybody is present. Because we're going to do an activity. But I need you guys in. <laughs> I need you in. Okay, people, I will share the screen tonight, and I need you to come to the board, all right? I need you to come to the board, and I will do a dictation, all right? Vamos a ver, vamos a hacer un dictado, a dictation. So, everybody, please come to the board. Come to the board. First word, okay? This is the first word. Ready? Regards. Espéreme, teacher, espéreme. Ok, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Please come to the board and write the words that your teacher says. First word, number one. You ready? Yes. Okay. The word is regards. Regards. Okay. 
Teacher, como no estoy de la compu, lo estoy escribiendo en el chat. Ah, okay. Thank you. Oh, guys. I'm sorry. Here we are. Please write. Uh -huh. Okay, Ronaldo. Thank you, Aida. But please come to the board, everybody, and write the word. Try. Okay, thank you. Next word, polite, polite. Carlos Ernesto, you're missing a letter E. Polite. Polite. Yes. Thank you, Aida. Thank you, Saul. Thank you, Marta. Okay, next word. Manners. Manners. Uh -huh. Ok, pero en el chat no, jóvenes, aquí necesito verlo en la pantalla. Entren a la pizarra, por favor. Come to the board. To the board. Ronaldo eh, escribió mal la palabra polite. Check the spelling. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Ok. Eh... Ronaldo también manners, manners. Me escribió minutes en vez de manners. Sí, sí. Después lo que escuché en la segunda ya mejor. Ah, oh, ok. Good, Alicia. Uh -huh. Manners. Double N. Remember? Double N. Double N, Carlos. Double N. Next word, punctual, punctual. Yes, Carlos Edgardo, thank you. Sorry, teacher, please. Mm -hmm. Punctual. Okay, teacher. Ah, okay, punct. Yes, Marta Alicia, mm -hmm. Ronaldo, a letter C is missing. Teacher, yo no puedo usarlo en el chat. Ok, pero ya solo sería usted y Ronaldo, nada más. Ok, de ahí los demás en el pizarrón. Vamos. Teacher, teacher. Este. Ok. Yo la también, pongo... teacher, no puedo escribir en la pizarra. ¿Por qué? Sí. ¿Por qué no pueden? A ver, explíquenme por qué primero. Yo porque estoy, estoy, en teléfono. estoy en el teléfono. Ah, no importa, no importa. En el teléfono es como un lapicito, así que no tengan pena. Ah, y los ah, esperamos sí. con el lápiz. Sí, sí. Oh, Pero es que no me... sí. A mí no me sale solo una raya, no puedo escribir. Ah, 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 ya. Por ejemplo, aquí estoy poniendo yo, perdón, escribiendo. Punco. Ajá, eso me sale. Voy a borrar ahorita. Y no te sale ese como un Marta. Eh, no les aparece como una, una barrita. O, o está. No, en el teléfono a ellos les va a aparecer solamente el lapicito que está así en un círculo aquí en la esquinita del teléfono. Uh -huh. Solo es el lapicito y con el dedo van haciendo cada letra. Sí, sí así aparece. Uh -huh. Así que no hay problema. Demos, entremos. No tengan pena. Vamos.
Easy, teacher. Easy. Yes, easy words. Okay, we'll repeat from the beginning. The first one was regards. The second one's polite. The third one was manners. And the last one is punctual. Punctual. Okay. Vamos a la siguiente palabra. Let's move to the next word. Latecomer. Latecomer. Good, Saúl. Saúl tiene la eh, spelling correcta. Miren, latecomer. Latecomer. L-A-T-E-C-O-M-E-R. Okay, latecomer. Vamos bien. Aquí hay que quitar la letra U. Okay. Very good, Carlos Edgardo. Mm -hmm. Eight commas. Good. Yes, I. Mm -hmm. Okay, next word. Behavior. Behavior. Mm, no, Saúl, no es así. Mm -hmm. Go to check the spelling. Behavior. 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 Mm -hmm. Ok, la ah. correcta la tiene eh, eh, Carlos Edgardo. Eh, yo creo que este rojo que estaba escribiendo acá, grande, creo que es Saúl. No, que perdón, Ronaldo, ¿verdad? Ronaldo, sí. Ok, eh, lo tiene bien. Uh, ok, good. Ya corrigió ahí Carlos Edgardo con una let letter E instead of an I. Ajá. Es por la pronunciación de Charles siempre se confunde. Yes, yes. Behavior. I know. Uh -huh. Behavior. Ah, oh, Fernando. Good, thank you. Now, next word. Next word. Vaya, voy a quitar estas que ya no nos van a servir y vamos a la siguiente palabra, ¿sí? Ok, next word. Salutation. Salutation. Yes, Carlos Edgardo. Good, Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. Yes, Fernando. Great, Marta Alicia. Mm -hmm. Ok, veo por ahí tres, pero no me fijé de quién eran. Ven, veo este de arriba. De school. Y este, muy bien. Good, good job. Y ese último yo lo escribí, teacher, pero no sé si es cierto, ¿verdad? This one. No, eh, el que está arriba en azul. 
se con... se lo voy a marcar Y es tres. oh, sorry. es ay no me deja agregar nada <ríe> es You have to, oh, okay, thank you, Saul, thank you. Okay, yes, that's the correct uh, spelling. Okay, I will clear all drawings and next word. Next word. Subject. Subject. Good, Carlos Edgardo. Good, Freddy. Yeah, uh, let us see. Yes. Mm -hmm. Subject. Okay, good, Ronaldo. Subject. Fernando, le falta la letra C. Check the spelling. Yeah, subject. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y hemos dicho en singular, ¿verdad? Subject. Okay, subject. Next word. ¿Estamos listos para la siguiente? No. <laughs> yes, you are. Hey, come on. Don't be so mean. <laughs> okay, this is another one. Etiquette. Repetition. Etiquette. Etiquette. No, Carlos Edgar, it's not that word. Uh huh. Etiquette. Okay, yes, Fernando Noel. Good. Etiquette. Mm -hmm. Fernando Noel tiene la correcta. Ah, también Carlos Edgardo. Correct spelling. Yes. Double T is at the end, and it's only one T, Eddie, and then t at the end, double T. Are we okay? Yes, that's correct. Etiquette. Yes, Aida. Mm -hmm. Okay. Etiquette. Okay. And this is the last one. Okay. This will be the last one. Look. Everybody ready? Guidelines. Yes, Carlos Edgardo. Yes, Freddy Enrique. Ajá, Alma, good. Okay. Yes, Marta Alicia. Mm -hmm. Yes, guidelines. Guidelines. Hmm. Fernando Noel is plural with the letter S at the end. Yes, thank you. Okay, the last one now. Okay, just one more. Just one more. Politeness. Politeness. Yes, Carlos Edgardo. Yes, Alma. Mm -hmm. Good, Saul. Yes, Freddy Enrique. Yes, Marta Alicia. Mm -hmm. Yes, Gabriela. Uh, aquí falta una T.E. ¿Quién escribió este? Este. Check the spelling, check the spelling. Hi. Ok, Fernando Enrique, cheque la, eh, la escritura. Le falta por ahí dos letritas. Yes, correct. Ok, people. Now we did it, right? Now we did it.
want to see you guys. Welcome everybody today to your class number 15. We are just to five more classes and we end this module. Can you imagine guys? Wow. I really appreciate your effort. You are doing a really good effort. Um, and I just want to encourage you not to quit. Okay. Please don't quit. Push up. Keep it up. All right. Never quit. And never give up. All right. Never give up. Continue with what you are doing and continue with the practice. All right, with the practice. Um, solo les quiero eh, seguir siempre eh, pidiendo de que trabajen por adelantado en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Vayan metiéndole porque ya ahora ya vamos casi al final, cinco clases más. Y vamos a descansar otra vez, ¿ok? Así que... Eh, Necesito que empiecen ya a ir adelantando, ¿verdad? Ustedes no se detengan, delen con todo en la plataforma. Eh, uh, <coughs> son solo cinco clases más las que nos faltan. Los que no han participado en las discusiones, los invito a participar, a poner sus opiniones y, su, y a corregir, perdón, y a expandir su vocabulario, ¿verdad? Eh, vean los videos los que no han estado en la clase las clases que se perdieron por favor vayan y vean el video las veces que sea necesario verdad así que hey también denle like para que se vea bonita nuestra clase verdad para que se vea bonito ahí que se vea hey, like pues sí porque está usted aquí dese un like usted solito verdad <ríe> ok bien so this is your class number 15 and we have a vocabulary practice. This vocabulary practice is related to the um, <clears throat> unit three. Remember, unit three. And, uh, well, actually, it's not a reading practice. It's a grammar practice. Okay, today we have grammar practice. We have vocabulary practice. Okay. And grammar practice. That's it. So allow me to share the screen to introduce this um, <clears throat> official. So. By the way, guys, what date is it today? Today is? Today is Friday. Friday. October 15 at 2023. October the 15th, right? The 15th. 15. The, the 15th of the 15th 2023. Of 2023. Yes. Okay, just remember, just as a manner of feedback, let's think about uh, when we write an email or we take um, in WhatsApp or in the social network, I think we need to remember that we have the uh, social rule and cultural rules that demand that uh, demand um, some language to use to differentiate formal from informal okay so let's think what kind of emails or what kind of texting could be formal well for example, an email to a customer, maybe you are doing a quote or you are sending some vital information from the process that you are following up with them. Um, a job application, right? A job application, maybe you send a letter uh, making the request 
for a job, right? When you request for a job, mm. an email to your manager, like informing, reporting, proposing things, uh, reporting problems. So it could be an email to your manager, right? You can also send in the formal kind of uh, email, right? A complaint, a complaint, uh, maybe for the service that you received, uh, the way you was treated or they made a mistake um, with your product, with your order, with your delivery. I don't know, whatever the problem is with this shop, you can send a formal email uh, placing a complaint, right? Filing a complaint. Mm. Also, you can send a formal email uh, from one company to another company, right? Maybe my company is your um, company's client, right? So you need to maintain this kind of communication between the companies. So you need to send emails in those that are formal, right? Formal emails. Uh, maybe there are a lot of things. Uh, there are other reasons to write formal emails, right? But these are just examples. Now we have some other examples when we send an email for informal uh, messages, right? For example, informal could be a birthday greeting to a colleague, right? Nothing to see with the job, but it's a communication way. Uh, so we need to send this kind of greetings, right? Send uh, this kind of wishes. A birthday greeting to a colleague. Mm -hmm. Next, well, informal email could be also an email to a colleague who is also a good friend, right? Those fellow co-workers, those fellow um, eh, colleagues, right? Uh, social invitation to a friend at your workplace, right? Maybe you are a teacher yeah, and you want someone come, someone comes and give a speech to your class so you can send a social invitation to a friend at your workplace. Also, Maybe you are just a, <clears throat> inviting them to a social event from my company, right? That's informal. That's informal, okay? An email with a link to a funny YouTube clip. <laughs> well, actually, in these days, maybe we don't do that. Yeah, maybe we just WhatsApp something or maybe we just, uh, for Instagram, right? We share face when we go on Facebook. We do that constantly. It has changed. It's not just an email when you send that. Uh, do you remember the the those chains of emails, the long chains, the forwarding, forwarding? Okay. Now, um, informal could be also a message to a friend on a social networking site. Remember, Facebook, Instagram, and X now, right? X instead of a Twitter. Um, how do you say, how? Uh, I mean, what do you call a message through X now? A ver, ¿cómo se llama un mensaje ahora de, de lo que antes era Twitter? ¿Alguien sabe eso? He tenido esa duda por algunos días y no la he confirmado. Si alguien quiere ir a Google y la confirmamos de una vez. <risa> ya no se llaman Twitters, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se llaman esos mensajes hoy? Siempre X. ¿O cómo se llaman? ¿Alguien sabe? ¿No? Te mando un X. No, ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo decimos? Ahí te... te no sé, te mando un tweet. No. Yeah. Bueno, whatever the word is, those kind of messages are informal usually. 
Okay, then. So we have some opening and closing phrases. Remember? For formal and for informal. Yeah. For formal and informal. Okay. Uh, please. I want to listen to maybe Freddie, please. Uh, read the formal opening and closing phrases. All of them. All of them. Formal. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Donovan, dear Sir or Madame, dear Miss Wilson, yours sincerely, mm -hmm. yours faithfully, yours truly, 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 yeah, looking forward to your reply. Regards, best regards. Okay, thank you very much. Now, please, Marta Esther, can you please read the informal opening and closing phrases? Hi there. Hi there, Aida. Morning, afternoon, and evening, Rosy. Hello again, Saul, Rob, cheers, bye for now, see you soon. Okay, so these are informal, right? For informal messaging. And these are for formal messaging, for formal, formal email. What we can see is that we moved, yeah? We moved all that we used in the old paper letters, those hard copies we sent by hand, uh, handwriting, right? They became to replace the, I mean, the email replaced these letters, right? So we use the same language in the formal emails as if they were letters, okay? As if they were letters. And it's important to follow the rules, the etiquette. Etiquette uh, email guideline right, for the formal email. Okay. Uh, if you see RGDS, Teacher, uh -huh. for example, I, I, I see the difference. Uh, let me, I, I don't know who say, he pronunciation or he say in English, for example, are artículos formales, a veces, ¿verdad? Tienen un contexto de vocabulario, por ejemplo, bien formal o a veces, por ejemplo, algún informe así como de algunos periódicos, no quiero mencionar nombres, pero acá en el país hay un periódico michero o sea, la mm. forma de redacción, ¿verdad? Eso podría ser un ejemplo, porque uno es más formal y el otro es un poco más informal mm, You're right, so very good Ajá, informal writing, they have this kind of redactions too Ok, uh... <clears throat> These are opening and closing phrases, but we need to know that there are some phrases that it doesn't matter if you write them in a formal or on an informal one, right? So, for example, if you say, <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Mr. Okay. Hello, Mr. Alvarez. That's formal, but it can be used also in informal. Uh, you can use hello in the formal ones. You can use that uh, instead of in the informal. But mm, yeah, we consider instead of hello, Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> hi. Uh, more informal, right? But hello makes it formal, formal. Okay. Uh, there are others. Let me just go over there and get them. Be sure. Mm -hmm. the the formal is, for example, good morning, Mr. Alvarez. This is formal. Yes, so informal. but you are saying good morning, not just mm -hmm. morning, 
Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, regards, it's also used in the informal ones. Okay. We can say, for example, with best wishes. Yeah. We can say with best wishes. We can say with many thanks and best, best wishes. So I will get them here. we don't see your window your screen no, sorry i was ah, trying okay. i was trying to, oh, okay. Yeah, to share it. <laughs> okay uh oh and the other uh sorry 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 Where is... <clears throat> okay we can use with best wishes with many thanks and best wishes but these are uh, for both, let's say, for both, for informal or for formal. Yeah. Oops. Okay, and regards that we have right here, like formal, you can use this an informal too. Okay, you can use this an informal too, but we consider these uh these words more formal yeah but we can say they can be used in both okay we best wishes with many thanks and best wishes um it's another well we have to see you let me just remember yeah, because we say dear, and then I said hello, right? Mm -hmm. Hello, Mr. And please notice something. The spelling, well, actually the punctuation, yeah, uh, punctuation marks are right here. For example, after the salutation, we add a comma, okay? We add a comma. No, they don't use the two points. Uh, just give me one second and I'm just remember something. Mm -hmm. So we use a comma, right? And you're not being okay. And the f formal ones or informal ones, we add a comma. See at the end of each one. Usually, if you remember, okay, if you remember uh, some time ago, we said, for example, uh, good morning, dear Mr. A, Mr. Smith, okay. dear Mr. Mi Smith, and then we wrote this column, right? I'm sorry, column. But actually, it's not not used. Okay, it's not used anymore. We use we use now the comma. Yeah. And letters, the written letters, we just write column, right? Los dos puntos. Yeah, column. And um, and an email just a comma. Remember to cap capitalize, I'm sorry, I, uh, I forgot. Remember to capitalize, capitalize, capitalize. Okay, what you need to capitalize, right? Remember, dear, capital letter, Mr, capital letter, 
the last name or the name, capital letter. For example, dear sir, capital letter. Yeah. Dear madam, uh, dear ma'am, right? Then we say, uh, we use capital letter. Yeah. And this one is not a problem. Okay. And the closing is not a problem. You can use, you, you cannot capitalize all the words, just the first one, right? So the initial capital, capital initial, and then after the, we write like a sentence, lowercase, the next word. Okay, but remember the comma, remember the comma. Okay, the objective tonight is that you will be able to review the unit vocabulary about communications in the workplace, right? And if you remember, we were studying the etiquette guidelines or the good etiquette at the workplace. Do you remember? Good etiquette at the work workplace. So now we are going to pretend being a, a manager, right? In charge of a group of people. And we are going to visit another company and we need to create a etiquette manual for this visit. Uh, well, actually, we can do it as if we merge, right? And they come to work and we go to work over there. So uh, the etiquette manual for both, um, for your group, okay? For your group of people, of employees. Okay, in order to do this activity, in order to do this activity, go to the platform. And the platform, please go to the video conference number 14. In the video conference uh, 14, please scroll down and you will get to the post. Okay, and you have it right here. This is video conference number 14, so you can access this way. Sorry. It's section okay. number three, teacher. Yes, yeah, section number three. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. Okay. You can go through these label two, discussion. Go to all topics. You get to the etiquette manual. Yeah. Hey, I didn't see this one. Thank you, Guy, for sending me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maggie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a very good one. Look, kind regards. Okay, kind regards. Do you see here? Okay. This is another. Instead of best regards, you can say kind regards. It's a very good one. Okay, go back. To the etiquette manual. So you are in charge of a group that is going to visit another company to make an alliance. So you have to write a short etiquette manual for your colleagues. Your colleagues, let's look at the first one. It says, hey, paya bicho, cuando lleguemos allá, bueno, eso es muy informal. O sea, pero si decimos, bueno, compañeros, vamos a ir a tal compañía, nos toca hacer tal y tal cosa, vamos a ir a capacitar un grupo para hacer tal y tal cosa, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ustedes deben de mantener la imagen de nuestra compañía, ¿sí? Entonces, la imagen es el buen comportamiento, good behavior, etiquette. Right, uh, the first rule or the first guideline will be greet everyone in the facility. Huh? Okay, that's a good example. So you continue with this other, okay? So there are five. One, two, three, four, and the number six is five. Yeah. So you have to write five. Yeah. You have to write five. So go ahead, please. And in the breakout rooms, you are going to work with your classmates. Antes de irnos, 
ya puede empezar a trabajar, chicos. Pero antes de irnos, quiero pasar lista, ¿ok? I want to call the roll, so please, everybody. Remember to turn your camera on, and when I call your name, please say present, ¿ok? Acordémonos, ¿verdad? Por amor a la teacher y a las auditorías, encendamos nuestras cámaras. Vamos, turn your camera on. Vamos, number one, Aida Eugenia Ramírez Chávez. Present teacher. Alma Yamileta Hernández de Vázquez. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Alarcón Galdames. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Present teacher. Damaris Lisette Guevara Herrera. Present teacher. Evelyn Yajaira Martínez de Jacinto. Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Present teacher. Fernando Noel Mauricio Tintigo. Present teacher. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Tolórzano. Present teacher. Gabriela Lizette Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. No Isabel yet. Oh, okay. Marta Esther Ayala Díaz. Present teacher. Me equivoqué, ¿verdad? Perdón, jóvenes. Y creo que... Uh, Mar ¿A quién mencioné, perdón? Marta Esther. Yes. Ok, es que escuché otra voz conocida por ahí. Vamos a ver, Marta Liz. Sí, sí, ok. Thank you. Por eso me confundí un poco. No, no hay ahora. Ok, perdón. Sorry. Uh, let's continue. Vamos a ver. Entonces, Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa, ¿verdad? Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Marta Estera Ayala Díaz, again, please say present. Marta Esther, perdone, pero por favor necesito que diga otra vez presente. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Ronaldo José Guerrero Hernández. Present teacher. Ok, Rosa Estela Polanco. Present teacher. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present, present teacher. <laughs> Sorry. Ok, Stephanie Magalia Maya Reyes. I remember she was in. Is she? Okay, yeah, yes, today is, she is as well, is it? Okay, people, so let's go to the breakout room and create this etiquette manual for our colleagues, right? Teacher, and then and post the the photo, uh, the one in, in group or individual? I think individual uh, for your, I mean, uh, that's like, the evidence that you worked and you participated, okay. right? So I think it's better if you do it individually when you post your reply, even though the, it's going to be the same, right? But please, I want, uh, it's better that your account shows up with your name, right? That you are- Okay, sure. Okay, nice. Okay, everybody, are you ready? Almost there. I'm ready, sure. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah.
Este como eh, usar la ropa sí, de cara más tapado y no cualquiera. Sí, sí. Para producir nuestro vocabulario, la forma de hablar. Puede ser. Ahí da un ejemplo, dice Grey, right? everyone, everyone in the facility. Entonces, este, que todos saluden, como dijo que como, al ir de visita a algún lugar, eh, todos saluden en las instalaciones, algo así. Uh -huh. Saludarlos a todos. Sí. Uh -huh. Algo así. Uh -huh. Teacher. Hello. Está eh, una, una, una puede ser eh, referente a la forma de vestir, usar ropa formal. Yes, it can be. Mm -hmm. And the word is there said to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. También podría ser lo que dijo, ser puntual. Oh, yeah. No sé si entraría eso. That's correct, Alma. And if you use a uniform, then you, I'm sorry, if you have a uniform, then you can say, uh, wear your uniform. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Esther dijo algo del vocabulary. Mm. ¿Cómo podemos poner? Eh, don't use bad words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is use or using? Uh, do not use, right? I work. También podríamos poner bipolar. ¿Cómo? Bipolar. Mm.
Llevar, llevar, eh, estu ¿cómo es? Como que llevar bien claro los objetivos de la alianza. Serían los, los, eso se llama acuerdos, <risa> la alianza. Usted debería llevar los objetivos y propuestas de la alianza listos para ser presentados. Sí, escribió la chica. Dice: Acuerdo, dice agreement. Ah, yes, it's agreement. You should, you should bring the objectives and agreements of the of the uh, uh, alliance alliance alliance. <laughs> yes, because alliance, alliance is alliance? You know, <laughs> it's alliance. alliance. Yeah, alliance. that's alliance. Yeah, Debe, alliance. Debería, should, debería llevar los aliens para que nos acompañen. <laughs> Ajá, abducted, right? Era la luna, ¿ves? Aquaman. Ok, ¿otro? On number five. ¿Cuánto llevamos? One, two, three, What? four, five. Five. Huh? Five. The first is... You must bring your identification. The two is you must attend proper proper uni, uni, uniform. Three is you should research in advance information about the company to visit. And four is you should speak with respect and pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Sería. Pay attention. Bueno, porque no sé si es. Porque sí, pay, at... uh -huh. pay attention eh. in the meeting. Oh. Dame un segundo. Es que ya lo he escuchado yo. Es... Tiene que ver con respetar la minuta de, de la agenda, pero en inglés. Respetar la minuta de la agenda. Sí, o sea, a ti te dan un lineamiento. Punto uno, punto dos. Y tú Ajá. estás enfocado en eso. Ajá, tú estás, pero tiene una palabra, eso tiene una palabra. Mm. Teacher, can you help me? You remember that? Which, uh, can you repeat, Ronald? Can you repeat, Saba? Ah, seguro. Sí, eh, eh, Ronaldo, he say uh, is a different formal to uh, pay attention in the meaning. For example, is the respect for the different alignments in the agenda. But I don't know. His, he, it say, ¿cómo se dice? Eso de respetar la gente y estar enfocado para mm -hmm. no decir pay attention. Porque yo dentro de los sinónimos no recuerdo atender, escuchar, pero no sé. I think what you mean is that you don't want to talk si about es... a different thing instead uh -huh. of following up the, the agenda, right? For uh -huh. be a word, be a word, teacher. Uh -huh. I, I write in the chat, you look 
is the pronunciation? <clears throat> yeah, be aware. Be aware is like, uh, yeah, be aware of the agenda. I mean, the... On the meaning uh, and the exposition. The agenda. The agenda, the agenda is good. It's a good word. But no, no. Uh, I'm trying to understand uh, where Ronaldo wants to get. Uh, mm. Es que, que, que la idea es, teacher, quizás se la explico en español, que estamos acá dialogando con Damaris y Ronaldo de, de cómo es cuando, por ejemplo, está uno en una reunión y no queremos que estén ahí, está ahí el expositor y están dos hablando atrás de otro tema, otros hablando de otra cosa, sino que estén enfocados. Entonces, ahorita buscábamos otra forma de no decir pay attention. Con, con Ronaldo, ah, Ronaldo mencionaba que había como, escuchado antes. Uh -huh. Como no charlar. Ajá, pero es ok if uh, respect and... Uh, Respect the ah, agenda okay. items. Respect the agenda bien. items. So, no discussions. No discussions. Algo así. No, dis no discussions. Ajá. No discutir, pero creo que se toma de una forma. Eh, creo que a los salvadoreños nosotros decimos discutir como estar peleando. Pero es similar a no discussion. O sea, no discutir de un tema que no tiene nada que ver con lo que está en el expositor. Entonces, no sé si es no discussion. Argue, argue, creo que es teacher. No, no, no. Uh, argue sí. is, uh, well, when you have your point and the other has a different point. That's ah, uh, the discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did not get distracted. <laughs> Did not get dis <laughs> distracted. Yeah, from the objectives of this meeting or of this alliance i don't know uh -huh. depending yeah, focus on what you are doing mm -hmm. no 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 in this case it's not exactly focus it's um mm -hmm. yeah but uh, allow me just to get it okay to put this in order because ronaldo has a very wide a um, very wide uh, concept but in Spanish. So I need uh -huh. you to use the vocabulary we have learned, okay? Use okay, the vocabulary teacher. we have learned and maybe you are going to get the point over there, okay? Okay, teacher, okay. Nos uh -huh. regimos así, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, is this. Okay, pay attention, quizás, teacher, pay attention. No, 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 Say... that one was okay. That one was okay. Respect the uh, agenda items or something mm -hmm. like that. Okay, mm -hmm. okay teacher. Respect the agenda items. Respect the agenda. Agenda. The agenda, dijo teacher. Repeat, please. Respect the items. agenda. I items. items. Uh -huh. I items the the items yes. items exactly items. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, okay respect agenda item look teacher please this is correct the, the writing sorry respect the agenda items items mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let me just see one sec Res yeah. res respect the agenda mm -hmm. items mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay teacher thanks teacher Respect the agenda items. Okay. Y con esa is is the finish. <laughs> it's an, the the fight plus the greet everyone in the faces. You sure? Ah, uh, don't don't share my my screen. Sorry. Okay, pantalla. Teacher, eh, como por el momento como eh, Saúl las puede subir en nombre de los tres, ¿verdad? Yo las estaría subiendo el día de mañana. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. ¿Y por qué okay. las va a subir okay. hasta mañana? Perdón, es que le pregunte. Es que tengo un problema. Ahorita estoy del teléfono porque mi computadora, por el momento, no la tengo. Pero en su computadora usted puede entrar a, a la eh, con el Google, usted puede entrar con el browser. ¿En la ¿Alguien? computadora? Sí, en el teléfono. 
en el teléfono, usted abre Google y ponga online.inglescorporativo.net y entra a su, a su cuenta. Sure. The, the other format is the application. You remember in the, the course one, you, you say, look at the, the application. I, For example, I download uh -huh. in my phone uh -huh. and I let me check the different activities. Yes, exactly. No sé si la, la, no sé si la tenés, Ronaldo. The... ¿Cuál? Eh, la aplicación. Ah, no, es que, es que no me acuerdo de la contraseña. Ese es el problema. Y como ahora yo solo inicio. Ah, o sea, es la mala costumbre. Ah, okay. Okay. Sí, teacher, ese es un... Y aunque no me lo crea, y lo deduzco yeah. que Ronaldo es informático, los informáticos yeah. tenemos ese problema. Dejamos auto guardada la uh -huh. inicialización. So, yeah, es this correcto. is the application, Luke. Well, actually, yes, I do it. I'm not. I'm not on your field, but uh, yes, I do the same. Yeah, without my computer, maybe I'm on the street in La Ville Street. <laughs> La Ville Street. Yeah. Okay. Look. Así lo puede eh, bajar, mire, y le queda ahí la aplicación. Usted solo hace esa rápidamente su curso ahí y aquí le aparece el globito de las discusiones. Espérame. ¿Cómo se llama el curso, Ticho? Quedo, quedo. El curso de nosotros es OC347, inglés principiante móvil. No, 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 la aplicación, perdón, la aplicación. Oh, es inglés corporativo, así se llama. Ahorita voy a buscarlo. Ajá, en el Play Store. Bueno, ¿el suyo es Android o es iPhone? iOS, es verdad. Es iPhone. Ah, es entonces iPhone. tiene que hacerlo con el, eh, su tienda de, de iOS. Sí, el App Store. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ronaldo. Y ahora ya pensando así con cabeza más fría, eh, lo que dice Ronaldo, por ejemplo, si lo usamos en un lenguaje básico, eh, uh -huh. podría decir ustedes, do not discuss. No discuss. Ajá. Eh, matters that are not in the agenda. Así y la aplicación teacher. Sí. La aplicación teacher está para iPhone también. Porque no me parece. Sí, sí, está. Está. Ok, voy a seguir buscando. Va, eh, hágame un favor, Saúl, ya que usted está ahí en la... No, 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 yo lo voy a hacer, porque usted está trabajando ahí. No, dígame, teacher. Eh, para mandarle el link a Ronaldo de, de la Bios. plataforma. Ajá, pero del, 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 del de iPhone. Pero tiene mm. que ser la sesión para llegar allá sí, a la primera Sí, tengo que página. hacer la sesión. Uh -huh. yes, voy a seguir buscando ahorita. Ok. Inglés corporativo. Inglés corporativo móvil app. Creo que tendrías que ponerle también, Ronaldo, pues tal vez así te parece. Inglés corporativo móvil app. Móvil, móvil app, yes. Ahorita. Ok. Ok, teacher, add in the list. The do not dis discuss, discuss or discuss, 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 uh -huh. discuss, discuss. Teacher, uh, uh, um, <laughs> aprovecho. I, I have a question in it. Uh, it's difficultly, for example, the different pronunciation in C, C U S U. For, for I don't know, discuss or cause. Uh -huh. What is discuss? Discuss. Discuss. Uh -huh. Cause. Uh -huh. Discuss. Yes. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Okay, there discuss. you go. Discuss. Do not discuss matters that are not in the agenda. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Okay. 
Thank you for help. Okay, no teacher. Problem. No problem. It's more teacher or or write that. For example, I we seventh seventh seventh. Okay, no, it's that's, okay. That's that's okay. Mm -hmm. Let's teacher. go back to the main room. All right. Okay, teacher. Ronaldo, ahí le envié en el WhatsApp el link para los de um, no, iPhone. Uh -huh. okay. Tisha, I, I, I have uh -huh. a question. What is uh -huh. the difference, for example, I I I say, for example, or I, I listen in is, for example, in the meetings or, for example, meeting, the meeting in, in virtual meeting, for example, and what is the difference, the meeting, the, the workplace, for example, the, the the room. On site. On site. On site. Uh -huh. On site. Virtual and on site. Presencial, on right? On site. Siem siempre es meeting. Yeah. Hay different uh, meeting. No, meeting. Uh -huh. Meeting. Okay. Virtual meeting, on site meeting. Yes. Re revisando, me dice que no es compatible con mi región. Oh. Entonces, por eso es que no me aparece a mí. Bien raro. Usted me manda el link, yo linkeo. Lo parcho y me dice, eh, esa app no está disponible para tu región. Es que la teacher está en Europa, por eso. <laughs> yes. In uh, Spain. It's only for, yeah, it's only for England. <laughs> London. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ronaldo. Es, puede ser que su teléfono es el reciente, ¿verdad? Y sí, el no reciente. Esté, ajá, y las pantallas, acuérdese que como para acá, bueno, usted sabe de eso, ¿verdad? Entonces puede ser que la aplicación no esté para... Tienes el iPhone 15, Ronaldo. Sí, ya, en breve. No, el 11. El 11. Tenía que vender un riñón. Sí. Te de ruaño. Sí. Ay, no, Mari, estos muchachos, vea. Mucho molestan, dígale. No, no, no. All right, people. Uh, let's go back to the main room, everybody. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Teacher in the interim, the coming back the different classmate. I I may can you help me please? For example, in the activity num in the homework number seventeen. Mm -hmm. I um como, how do you say créame o, o cuando uno quiere decir créame que he intentado believe me like that believe me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Eh, que he estado todo el día tratando de hacerla, pero siempre me da un error. Así que al final, bueno, no sé si a mí me toca hoy, pero si al caso. Ok, but uh, what number? Eh, what? ¿17? Mm -hmm. ¿17? Te da error una de las últimas. Es que así me pasó. Y yo la ponía bien. Y la puse como 10 veces hasta que la dio. Pero no sé por qué. Como que hay algo ahí. En... <risa> Los aliens, teacher. <risa> ok. Uh, 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 how do you use... Oh, let me go into... Let me just remember what number of those. Number five, number four, number three. Uh -huh, I remember this. Uh -huh. The problem is that you have to add, I mean, you have to write the, com uh, the complete phrase with the subject, right? Uh, if, if it is the number four, you have to say, you are going to have. Okay. Sorry, teacher, I received the calling. 
but I don't listen. To. Didn't you? Okay, I need to get there. Mm -hmm. This one. Okay, and you are in this one. This one has a problem. You have to write. You are going to. Okay. You are going to have. Okay. You are going to have. That would be the answer. Let me let me send. Yeah. I think that one is. It's okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot to tell you. Well, because we are not over there yet, but thank you for telling me that. Everybody take note. Number four, you have to add the subject and the 17 when you get to the be going to. All right. Now we go to... Okay, let's read. Workers. Workers. Okay, suppliers, not plural. The plural is the person, right? So, or the subject in this matter. For example, the supplier, my, uh, I'm sorry, supplier workers, okay? Le falta una R, aquí no es plural, y aquí sí. Use the daily uniform, all right. Should you use the ID? Esta es una estructura de pregunta, entonces tiene que ir sujeto, should use the ID. You should use, you should use. Ahí las voy escribiendo, ¿verdad? Use appropriate language. Okay, okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Por ahí le ponía a un grupo, mind your language. Esta es una frase que se utiliza y hay un programa bien chévere um, que así se llama, mind your language, y es antiquísimo en inglés. Entonces, es muy chistoso. It's really, really funny. It's a comic uh, show. All right. Avoid being distracted with your mobile phone. Oh, that's a good one, too. That's a very good one. Okay. Let's look at Rosa Stella. Let's bring your ID. Meet. What do you, uh, I mean, what do you mean with this word? Carne. Ah, puse carne. Yeah. So I was... <laughs> All right, no problem. It's okay. Uh -huh. So, you would... ¿cómo se dice carne en inglés? ID. No, uh, yeah, ID. Or, but, but. Es que en español se escribe carne también. <laughs> Ay, no. <laughs> It must attend properly uniformed, right? Good. You should research in advance information about the company to visit. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. You should speak with respect and pay attention to the personnel. Uh -huh. Personnel is, spelling is personnel of the company we are going to visit. You should bring the objectives and agreements uh, of the alliance. 
comma, ready to be presented. You should keep a list of negotiable on, or and non-negotiable um, aspects in the alliance, okay? Well, um, okay, because you are making the alliance. In this case, this is the concept, all right. Now, Freddy, mm, ah, good, thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Marine said Kevara, Herrera, Ronaldo, is out. Okay. Free everyone in the facilities. No smoking. Keep your phone on silent. And silence. Oh, well, actually, silence because it's the, the button, right? Okay. Uh, okay on silent <laughs> mode, right? Something like that. Silent Listen mode. To others. Uh, <laughs> and respect turns to speak. No, no, no. If you say on silent, uh, sounds like the mode. To others and respect turns to speak. Do not eat any item. Respect the agenda items. Do not discuss matters that are not in the agenda. That, that's correct. Let's look at this one. Eh, hey, very good one, Marta Esther. Great. It says, wear formal clothes, do not use bad words. Mm -hmm. When we say do not use bad words, that's mind your language. Okay? Mind your language. Cuando uno, por ejemplo, La mamá, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? le dice a usted, vaya, vaya, niña, cuidadito con esa su boquita, ¿verdad? Eso es mind your language. Uh, do not shout inside the facilities before light races that you must maintain eye contact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This one was Carlos. No, Gabriela. Okay, thank you, Gabriela. And Fernando. You're okay, thank you. All right, only you guys. No news. All right, then let's continue, guys. Thank you, everybody, for participating in this uh, activity. Now we go to the manual. All right. Go to the manual. And let's go back just a little bit more. Let's go back just a little bit more. Over there, remember, I mean, I mean, do you remember the reading? ¿Quién se acuerda de la lectura? Who remembers the reading from yesterday? Hey, si la tarea era que se la memorizaran. <laughs> no. Joking, this is a joke. Okay, we have to summarize this reading. Okay, let's summarize the reading. How are we going to summarize this? Uh, making a summary means putting this into just the important things or the main points in the reading. So if then let's complete this activity. Summarize five etiquette statements from the article. Let's go and check. And the first one. Five, five. Mm -hmm. So remember, there are many work provisions, but the most important to be. Ah, here we've got one. Look, this is the first one, right? So let's go and write it down. Be punctual. Mm-hmm. Así, picking the information, ¿verdad? O sea, así, no, no vamos a leerlo todo para llegar. Ya conocemos la lectura. Vamos y busquemos el punto, ¿sí? Are responsible. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Number two, a ver, ¿cuál sería la siguiente en la lista? Maybe good knowledge. This? Yes. 
you in the official email, you need to mention the of the subject clearly and be con con concise. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Y de qué está hablando todo este párrafo? Um, email etiquette. Uh -huh. Hagamos una de email etiquette. Eh, Freddy comenzó con have good, good knowledge. Ajá. Y luego eh, Rosa dice you need to mention the subject clearly and to be concise. Right? Uh -huh. okay, vamos a hacer una sola. Vamos a ver allá. Mm -hmm. And Vale, revísenme esto que esté bien escrito. Vale. Guidelines. Okay. okay, let's go and check for a third one. Hmm? Ah, una tercera norma que podemos poner ahí. Siempre igual a la anterior podemos poner esa, ¿verdad? You should. I forgot. Se me olvidó la, la idea. A ver, ajá, ah, formally grammatically. Okay. Otra más. Vamos a ver. Otra más. Ah. 
Estamos resumiendo la lectura de ayer. Uh -huh. On the phone, right? On the phone. Uh -huh. What goes next? Only one left. From this paragraph. Do not talk lowly. Will it There you go. Do not talk. Mm -hmm. There we are. Okay, people, so let's try to complete these other exercises. So let's go to the first thing. We need to find the 10 words from the box below and the word search. Subject. Mm -hmm. right. Subject. Yep. We have all these, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I will open just a little bit this thing. Yeah. There you are. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bio. Entren a, a marcarlo. Come to the board. Okay. A mí no me deja teacher. Yo quiero entrar y no. Ah, sí, me dijeron que a Rosa no. Ah, no, ¿cómo va a ser? Come on, try, try. You cannot open a wheat board during screen share. Ah, no, because you are not you don't have to open the, the whiteboard. What you have to do is come to the board, all right? Just with the text annotations. Uh, Mm 
Late comer falta. Late comer. Ah, there you are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good, Carlos Ricardo. Nos falta una nada más, ¿verdad? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. There we are. Yeah, the guideline. <laughs> I cannot draw these things that you do. Cada uno lo tiene que borrar. A mí no me lo activa el borrador porque como cada uno lo ha hecho, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we found it. Now we have to cho choose only five. Okay, five words from the word search and write a sentence for each. Write a sentence for each. Okay, me voy a poner yo en silencio, hago mute myself. ¿Quién va a venir al pizarrón, jóvenes? I could do it. Ajá, uh -huh. who is coming to the board? ¿Quién, va, ¿Quién quiere venir a escribir al pizarrón? A ver. Vale, lo que deben hacer es escoger cinco de estas palabras y luego van a hacer una oración por cada una de las que escogieron, ¿ok? Así que yo me voy a poner en silencio y ustedes van a trabajar todos participando como grupo. Bien, como nadie quiere venir al pizarrón, le vamos a pedir a don Saúl, ajá, Mr. Saúl, please come to the board, y todos haciendo el trabajo. Oh, thank you, Ronaldo. Ok, um, Bien, I'll mute myself. With, with great pleasure, teacher. I, <laughs> the secretary in the class. <laughs> Number one. Etiquette. Oh, punch Okay, tell me, Alma. I read. Teacher, is you reading, for example, or read? Read, because you're read. giving uh -huh. a command. Giving ah, okay. a command, so read. no ing, just read, okay. please. Read, read. Okay, Alma. Read, please. Tell me. Um, you should... You should be punctual. Repeat, please. You? You should be punctual. Vale, escojan cuáles, cuáles cinco van a ser. Late comer. Punctual, que es la que dijo Alma. Mm. Solo yo les escojo, ¿ok? <ríe> Esto es un ya que insistes. confían mucho en usted, Rosa. <risa> Vaya, Damaris, diga una a usted. Vamos a ver, Fernando, escoja una, una a usted. Eh, vaya, escojan pues, escojan ahorita. Después no van a decir, no, hombre, es que esa que escogieron, no se me ocurre nada. 
Ajá, vamos a ver, escojan y escojan. Saúl en el chat puso la mía. Ok, con gusto. Solo revisala si está bien. <ríe> Freddy dice subject. Israel is a latecomer every day. ¿Mm? No te agrada, Israel. No sé quién es. <laughs> Subject, the subject is very important in the email. It's that Freddy. Gabriela dice, dice manners. Manners. Yes. You shall have good manners. Okay. La última la hace Saúl. <laughs> okay. Con mucho gusto. Eh, sería with eh, vamos a ver. Sería manner, ya está, punctual. A comer y you should have manner subject of polite. Voy a tomar la de la Mari mejor. You so you show please respect etiquette. Ronaldo sent one on the chat. Ronaldo José, say, a dear valued customer salutation is suspect. Yes, is in the in the moment is uh, important for the cybercriminal cybersecurity. Entonces, it's very important. Okay. Teacher, I finish or more. <laughs> Ronaldo sent one. Oh, sorry, teacher. A dear budget customer's solution is first. Thank you. I just want to uh, make sure if I understand this last one, Ronaldo. Salutation is suspect or suspicious. Or it's a, it's a wedding <laughs> uh -huh. This seems like if you are saying that this is... Um, es que está de moda por eso, la cibercriminalidad. Entonces, estimado, que, que, entonces por eso se me ocurrió. Ah, it's the terminal is fishing, teacher. Uh, no, suspicious, like this. Suspicious. Something like this. Suspicious. Suspicious. Estimado cliente, envíenos su código de seguridad y su número de tarjeta. Vaya cosa. Y su fecha de vencimiento. Sí, ahorita. <laughs> Entonces, por eso. Ok. No, yeah, I understand that. Lo que estoy viendo yo es la palabra suspect. Porque suspect eh, sí es sospechoso, ¿verdad? Pero suspect, eh, en este caso sería eh, suspicious, not suspect. 
sería la otra palabra. Suspicious, ajá. Suspicious. Con yo, suspicious, ¿verdad? Ahí lo puse en el chat, pero no, hay que verificar la ah, spelling de suspicious. A suspect, a suspect, probably. Well, I'm sorry, I was just checking grammar in here, but um, yeah, it's suspicious, it sounds, sounds more accurate. Okay, let's look at the first one. It says you should be punctual, yeah. And remember that we need to add a, like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, 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 uh. Faltó la letter A. I'm sorry? You, you should be a punctual. No, 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 no. You no, should be punctual. Okay, but what I, I'm saying is that mm. capitalize the first one. Capital, right? just to mm -hmm. show. The initial. You should be punctual. And this is a um, sentence, so you need the period. At the end, the full stop. It's really slow. Uh -huh. Aquí no podemos usar latecomer late como lo hemos usado. Entonces tendría que ser como Israel comes late every day. Okay. Si yo digo latecomer, entonces tendría que ser Israel is a latecomer. Okay, it's a latecomer. Y como leíamos en el artículo, a habitual, right? Habitual. A habitual latecomer. Habitual latecomer. Yeah? Ahí sí. Ya estaría correcto. Así. It's a habitual latecomer. Uh, then the next one. The subject is very important in the email. Yeah, it is. Uh, you should have good manners, not... Uh, capital over here, just lowercase. And you should please respect the etiquette. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Just capitalize the initial letter and the full stop at the end. And this one is a very good one, just the full stop at the end. All right. Okay, people, so let's continue because we have some other exercises in the next page. In the next page, we want to find some mistakes. Okay, ah, you did them right. So I have. Would you mind and could you? You have to identify and correct three mistakes in the requests below. Okay, vamos a hacer esta actividad igual. Yo me pongo en mute y ustedes lo hacen. Hey, pero están muy silenciosos los demás. ¿Verdad? Todos tienen que participar. Mira, eh, es necesario que todos participen. Vamos. Identific okay, okay. Three mistakes in records below. Would you send in this invitation to your assistants? Would you mind knowing your card? It's working. 
You could find this purchase order. Um, you mistakes. Hey, jóvenes, no lo va a hacer solo Saúl, a ver todos. No, Quiero escucharlos. <laughs> Ajá. Okay, okay. Bye, Saúl, léame la primera. Ok, teacher. Would you mind moving your cars? It's blocking mine. ¿Y eso está correcto o incorrecto, muchachos? Sería show. Mm. Is there a mistake in this question and in this answer? Mm -hmm. We use would you mind and then ing, right? So I it is correct. correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's blocking mine. Yeah, it is correct. So number two. Mm -hmm. Number two, please. Purchase One of you, you read it. You call find this purchase order. Uh huh. Is it correct yeah. or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect. What is the mistake? Could you? Mm -hmm. begin with could you uh, fill this purchase order? Exactly. Mm -hmm. The question structure, right? Could you? Could you? Le well, no, no, please. Could you? Could you fill, fill. this purchase? Fill mm -hmm. this purchase mm -hmm. order. There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about number three? Will you send in this invitation to your assistant? Is correct. Incorrect. Is correct. Is correct. Will you send in this invitation? Would you mind sending? Will you mind ordering something to it? No, pero la número tres todavía ah, no la hemos hecho. I think it's correct, teacher. It's not correct. It's not correct? Okay, teacher. Mm -mm. Andre. What do you mind? Si aquí solo dijera eh, con el wood... Entonces, uh -huh. este no tendría que ir a ING. Would you send, right? Would you send the invitation? En oh, este caso sorry. es, would you mind sending? Yeah, would, would you, you mind, mind sending? sending? Okay, number four. Fernando Noel, léame la number four. Would you mind ordering some time to eat? Artelicia, is it correct or incorrect? Okay. What about number five, Carlos Edgardo? Saul, Rosa, Freddy? It is incorrect. Number five is incorrect? Incorrect. incorrect. Why? Incorrect. Because they come. No, I and mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, could you come? Right? Could you could come, come earlier yeah. tomorrow? Can you say it, Carlos Edgardo, uh, in the correct way? It is incorrect. It okay. Must, must be could you come early tomorrow? We earlier. Our visitors. Earlier. Okay. Yeah. All right, people. So, just the last thing here. In this one, yeah. Here, let's classify the salutations, closings into formal or informal. Which are formal and which are informal? A is informal. Uh huh. B is regard formal. B U is formal. What is that? Talk so informal. Hello, Mr. Miss is formal. Morning is formal. Girlfriend is formal. Is formal. So informal. 
my best my best is formal. is formal. Soxo is informal. <laughs> THN is thank you, or that is Thanks. informal. Thanks. It's informal. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. So now allow me just to call the roll. Please remember that you have to turn your camera on, and when I call your name, you need to, to say present. Okay. You guys Thank ready? You, sure. Okay. Ready, sure. All right. Aida Eugenia Ramirez Chavez. Present teacher. Alma Yamile Thanks. Hernandez de Vasquez. Present teacher. Carlos Edgardo Vasquez Espino. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Alarcón Galdames. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano, Serrano. Damaris Lisset Guevara Herrera, eh, Herrera. Okay. Evan Yajaira Martínez de Jacinto. Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Present teacher. Fernando Noel Mauricio Centigo. Present teacher. Freddy Enrique Vázquez Solórzano. Present teacher. Gabriela Lizette Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Present teacher. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Present teacher. Marta Esther Ayala Díaz. Present teacher. Ronaldo Josué Guerrero Hernández. Present teacher. Rosa Estela Polanco. Present teacher. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present. Present. Stephanie Magali Amaya Reyes. Ok, people. Bueno, acuérdense que hoy es viernes, ¿verdad? Entonces tienen que subir todas las actividades que corresponden a la unidad 3. Tienen que estar subidas el día de hoy. Ok. Uh, necesito, por favor, que todos los que van con nota incompleta, vayan y revisen, por favor. Vayan y revisen porque todo lo, como sea, hemos ido resolviendo las dudas acá eh, para que todos saquen una nota, eh, se llama esto full mark, ¿ok? Full mark, que saquen 100, pues, ¿verdad? Nota completa. Entonces, por favor, vayan y háganlo, eh, tómense el tiempo para que ustedes salgan bien bonitos, ¿verdad? No, no así a medias, a las una la rápida, no, no, no pongámosle interés en eso por favor, entonces uh, ahora le toca a la a la número no, a la a número 15 number 15 on the list Ronaldo Josué Guerrero Hernández si quiere quedar a la sesión 1 a 1 y así nos fue Hola, teacher. Quizás mejor sería el... No sé si puedo el martes. Eh, no lo sé, porque ahí ya depende de la persona que le toque el bah. martes. Veamos okay, quién le toca el ahora. martes. Uh, ¿Se lo agarró? Sí, ahora? Mejor, ahora. sí, ahora mejor. Ok, bien. Vamos a ver entonces, everybody. Have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Uh, no, see you Monday. And come... Uh, please, do it. Monday. Your... Yeah, Monday. Monday. Uh -huh. See you Monday. Please do and submit your homework. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good okay, night. Good 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 Creo que ahorita me he quedado muy perdido, me siento perdido en la parte del correo, porque entre antier y ayer, por eso usted dio como la forma en cuanto a cómo se constituye un correo, entonces aún no he hecho la actividad. Y no sé si me podría explicar esa parte, porque hasta ahorita creo que es lo único que me, me he quedado. Creo que era uh -huh. como redactar el correo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. 
Para Entonces, redactar un correo formal, eh, usted tiene que seguir los lineamientos. Vaya a la página, a ver, en su manual. Sería la página 33, si no me equivoco. Página 34. Eh, Page 34. El manual de Cher, usted lo ha subido al grupo, entiendo yo, hace como tres semanas, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, yo se los paso siempre, pero también lo tiene en la plataforma. Ahí en la plataforma usted lo puede descargar. No lo tiene ahí a la mano ahorita. No, ahorita la mano, no, como estoy del teléfono. Ah, ok, pero igual. Vamos a ver aquí. Vale, ya se lo mandé ahí en el WhatsApp. En la página 33, page 33, tenemos un listado de eh, normas. Ok, you have a list of guidelines to write a proper formal email. Ok, and that's what you have to follow. That is what you have to follow in order to write. Yeah, here it is. Usted tiene que seguir todos estos 10 pasos para poder redactar un email formal, ¿verdad? Va, Porque se da ok. en el lugar de trabajo. Sí, el, el primero, uh este, -huh. eh, Read it. cuando, eh, sí, el, No el Spanish, feeling de no Spanish. Subject, Ajá. ok, feeling de subject es in the um, problem or, problem or, or case. Uh, for example, Printer problems. Uh, I... Uh -huh, exactly. Uh -huh. okay. What you need to talk about in the email, for example, if my subject is your scores, right? So I'm going to say Ronaldo scores report. Yeah. So this is my subject line. Okay. The subject Other, line. other uh, example. Um... Missing sales. No, 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 no. El, es que me refiero al título. Eh, ahí se refiere al título del correo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Ajá, entonces yo veo eso. Ventas perdidas. Problemas de impresora. Entonces, missing sales. Ah, hope. Oh, now I get it. I didn't understand what you were saying. Missing, yeah, sales. Mm -hmm. Missing I get cells. it. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Missing sales. The first Yes. point is uh, correct. Uh, missing cell. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice mayúscula en inglés? O todo mayúscula. Capital. Capital. Uh, capital. Uh -huh. Do not use all capital Uh, or full all time. lowercase. Mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry, full time. No. Uh, full text is capital. O the first, uh, the first letter. Yeah, only the first letter over here. Yeah. Okay, I point get it. second include a polite salutation in G, in G, uh, for example. Okay. Uh -huh. This is for example. Number, Mm -hmm. number three, uh, correct your main point on the opening sentence. Uh huh. Uh huh. For example, you would say, like, in order to uh, inform. No understand it, and number three, why you main point, el punto principal, o sea, ah, Ah, ok, ya vi ok, que ok, sí lo entiende, sí, sí. sí, ya está, ya está, Ajá, es que no lo point. traduzca, Ronaldo. 
tu problema, creo yo, es que todo lo quiere pasar al español. No, no. En español no va a tener sentido muchas veces. Por eso tiene que comprender el concepto de lo que quiere decir con estas palabras que usted está escuchando. Estas palabras sí. que usted está escuchando en inglés tienen un significado o un concepto, más bien, un concepto, ¿sí? Eh, le, por, por ponerle un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Eh, nosotros en español decimos, esa señora echa pupusas. ¿Echa pupusas en dónde? En una bolsa. ¿Echa pupusas en dónde? En un basurero. O sea, echa. No, en inglés no vamos a decir hecha pupusas, ¿verdad? Pero nosotros en español entendemos que las hace, ¿sí? Entonces, en inglés ya no va a tener sentido hecha, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir, esa señora, that Make lady, it. makes, makes Make. pupusas. Entonces, por esa razón que le estoy explicando ahorita, no debe traducir, ¿ya? No debe traducir la, eh, lo que dice ahí así literal. No, tiene que comprender el concepto, ¿ok? Y para que usted se sienta cómodo, porque a veces yo eh, he sentido que, que cuando usted no lo entiende como, eh, nos pasa a todos, pero cuando uno no entiende algo, uno busca un ejemplo, uno busca eh, una aplicación de esa palabra para poder entender el uso o el concepto, pero no no lo que le pasa a usted que se queda pensando en la palabra a traducirla. Ahí nos, se le va toda la idea. Entonces, no, busquemos los ejemplos, así como hago yo, ¿verdad? De que les busco ejemplos, les busco un uso, y así lo va a ir comprendiendo mejor, Ronaldo, de veras. Ponga en práctica esto y va a ver, así ya no se va a sentir como incómodo cuando no comprende una palabra, ¿ok? Ok. Uh, for example, write you may point in the opening sentence. Ok, eh, the main point is, for example, Ajá. the printer damage in the store, eh, number nine. Ajá. estaría mal um, si se va directo al punto no hay ningún problema porque es una forma en que ustedes se comunican en el proceso de su de su quehacer diario ¿verdad? entonces okay. eh, no hay ningún problema ahora yo utilizaría por ejemplo in order to ¿okay? o por ejemplo uh, eh, about Ajá, yo puedo escribir, I am writing, I am writing, regarding, ok, apréndase estas dos, in order to, eh, y también, I am writing, regarding, ok, entonces, después de cualquiera de estas dos, por ejemplo, I am writing, regarding, uh, regarding to the printer, Uh, from four nine, I inform that it is damaged. Okay, it is damaged and uh, need uh, technical checking. Por decir algo, sí. Entonces, la primera oración sería acá. I'm regarding to the printer, ¿ok? Ahí ya oh. yo le dije todo. I'm regarding to the printer. Y ya me voy leyendo lo demás para saber cuál printer, en dónde está, cómo está la situación, ¿verdad? ¿Quién lo está solicitando? No sé qué, qué otra información le ponen ustedes. Entonces, después de ponerle ahí, I'm regarding to the printer, ya le pongo el punto a la persona, ¿ok? Ok. Eh... Number four, then I use a capital or a lower. Okay, yes, yes, no problem. Okay. Uh, about its abbreviation. Ah, okay, yes, use correct the uh, abbreviation. Okay, no problem. No, 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 no abbreviations in a formal email. No, never. You don't have to use abbreviations. You can use, oh. for example, thanks, ASAP, or uh, I don't know, any other please. Uh huh. 
You have to write no, the complete eight. word. No abbreviation. No abbreviations. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, no problem. Uh, number six, be polite. Remember to write, please. In... Thank you. Ah, okay, no problem. Uh, be, bri be brief. If you messages, I still consider using an attachment. Mm -hmm. mm, no understand each number. So, again, again, read it again. Be brief. Be brief. Mm -hmm. Not long. Uh huh. The message long mm -mm. in an email. Uh, you don't have uh, the right to long. For, for example, for example, uh, Okay, the core is a uh, okay. The cable in English cable, right? Cable. Yes, sí, cable. 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 Okay. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, mm -hmm. the cable, the printer number two uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. uh, is damage. Okay. This is core. Damage. Mm -hmm. Damage. Okay. Ahora. Eh, usándolo para evitarme de eso, entiendo yo la número 7 es que solo agreguen el cable la imagen del cable dañado a eso, uh, eso quiere hey, no, 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 no no because with one sentence you said everything, you're not going to say for example I talked to the client and the client declared that they uh, put, connected the cable and when they connected it then it didn't work so I assume that the cable, um, the, the printer cable number nine is damaged. Muchas palabras para decir solamente the printer cable number nine is damaged. Yeah? Okay. Uh, I'm understanding using in attachment. No, no. Using an attachment is, for example, when you have a manual, right? Or you have um oh those pictures for example imagine mm -hmm. you have 20 pictures you're not going to send them all in an email because you cannot load it right pero esto se refiere más que todo ronaldo a que usted se ponga a decir un montón de palabras y en realidad lo que quería decir era un... okay just sí. straight es que, to eso, the point Es como, imagínese que yo le voy a decir a usted, le voy a dar un reporte y empiezo con el punto número uno, punto, y son 15 puntos. No, ah, mejor sí. hago un documento y se lo mando por el así attached. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Number A, you see a closing. Pues life is rigor. Rigor looking for where to your comments. Ah, okay. Uh, number eight, no problem. I okay. I use uh, in the re best regard. Best regard. regards. Best, best regards. Regards. Mm -hmm. Best regards. Best regards. Regards. Mm -hmm. Regards. Okay. Looking regards. forward to your comments. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Repeat, I, looking forward to your comments. Looking forward uh -huh. to your comments. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, for example, uh, thank you, Riga. Todo eso uso. No se puede momento. Okay, now we can say best regards too. Uh -huh. instead, only, uh, instead of only regards, then you can say best regards. Better, okay. right? Or kind regards, like this. Okay. Uh, number A, number nine, sorry. In a signal blow. Ah, okay, the female. Okay, for example, my my scene is Ronaldo nice. Hernando, uh -huh. uh, engineer and... Uh, I'm sorry, engineer in data science. Uh, my phone number, my email, uh, my country. Uh, in the I'm sorry, uh, plus image the Your company. Picture? Ah, logo. The picture. 
a logo, uh, the picture, Oh, great. the company. Mm -hmm. So you have a, Number. a blog, right? You have a blog and it's automa automated, right? Automated. Automated. Ah, uh, it's same, same, same automated. Okay. So you okay. just write the text and then it attaches uh, by system. I mean, automatically. Automatic. Okay. There you go. Okay. And in the pronunciation yeah. of automatically is like automatically. Yeah. But we say auto, but it's uh -huh, because of the Spanish, right? But it. Automatically. No, automatically. Automatically. Yeah, automatically. Yeah. Okay. Number 10, Eddie y Proofer. Eddie y Proof. I'm sorry. Proofread or uh -huh. Proofer. Before proof you. Proofread. 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 Uh -huh. Esa palabra no sé qué significa. Double check, go and uh, review. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Eddie in proofread before and the, okay, uh, checklist the point you uh, no, uh, yes, uh, number one, that the number address two. is correct, that the address is correct, that it's addressed to the right person, that you attach Before. what you said that you were going to attach, that everything goes correct, yeah. You have to check, double check, yeah. Double sometimes, check. sometimes we send the email and then we say, "Oh, I didn't attach the document, right?" Or you didn't proofread. Uh, for example, you send them the email and it was not addressed to the right person. Oh, it was for so and so, and I send it to Mister Smith. Oh, that's a mistake because I didn't proofread. Okay. Oh. For example, uh, words wrong or wrong words. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Y, for example, um, destinatario is destine recipient. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. ah, okay. Okay, dice entonces. Creo que ya me queda claro el punto número okay. nueve. Uh -huh. No, no, no. El, el ocho. El number ten. El, Siete, uh, no, number A, number seven, uh -huh. y number five. Okay, great, uh, great. So entonces, ya you, mañana. Can, uh -huh, you can go to the video and check those points. How we, well, actually, it was yesterday, uh, just a sh in a short time. At the beginning of the video, okay. you can go and check. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Entonces, le agradezco mucho. Ay, okay, feliz. and what about your homework? No me había hecho las tareas. ¿Qué pasó, Ronaldo? No, no es que, he es que podido. No, no he podido. No he podido. Es que, la verdad, la verdad. Mire, ya, menos... la vez pasada me dijo que no le habían activado el módulo 3. Se lo activaron. Sí, me lo activaron ocho días después. Ah, pero ya lo tiene abierto. Sí, ya lo tengo abierto. Oh. Ocho días después porque se contactaron conmigo, pero sí fue ya ocho días después. Y resulta de que desde esa semana, como ha venido hasta la factura electrónica, la verdad, si, si se ha fijado, yo le digo, teacher, tengo que salir. Entonces, la asistencia sí le he bajado bastante, bastante en este módulo. Sí, el problema pero, es que después no me le vayan a enviar convocatoria. Sí, no, entonces, pero ya este fin de semana, o sea, ya mañana y el domingo, si no me tocó turno, entonces mañana me pongo ya al día y todo. Ah, va, ok. Y tiene que hacer uh -huh. el examen intermedio. Ese no me lo había hecho tampoco. No, es que no he hecho nada. No he hecho ah, nada. Hasta... Pero ahorita ya cree que va a poder accesar ahora. Accesar. Como no tiene ahí la computadora. Ah, no, no. Es que sería esta mañana, la mañana. Ah, va. Pero me lo manda pronto. Porfa, sí. porque yo tengo ahí ya anotado. O sea, ya me anotaron los que me faltan, ¿verdad? entonces me dicen hey, sí. ¿qué pasó? Sí. No, <risa> yo, 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 yo. Ok, please, please, okay. Ronaldo y su bueno, compañero tío. Carlos ¿cómo está? ¿también igual que usted? Él, él está un poco más peor no, ah. bueno, la palabra poco peor no creo que no existe él está un poco más saturado pero de trabajo. ok, sí, porque tampoco me ha presentado Ay, me, me le dice porque yo le mandé mensaje, también a usted ¿verdad? Pero le mandé mensaje eh, para que se pusieran al día y yo creo que él no ha podido tampoco. 
Háganme el favor y entre los dos reúnanse y lo hacen. Ajá, Bye. Bye. aunque sea en videollamada, háganlo. Le voy a hacer el comentario a él ya otro ratito. Donde Ajá, termine para de que se ayuden y se apoyen, ¿verdad? Y cualquier sí. cosa, tengan confianza y pregúntenos en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Cualquiera de sus compañeros también les puede contestar. Sí, sí, de hecho ya mañana en la tarde es que he propuesto yo dedicar toda la tarde a, al módulo. Ok, Ronaldo. Así, así okay. como hice al principio, que casi lo terminé todo, entonces. Sí, eso yo es solo, ajá, acabar. Ok, Ronaldo, then, uh, Thank you. if you have no more questions, have a very good night and see you Monday. All right? See you Monday. Bye. Yeah, bye.